What's going on, YouTube? I am Titan Anderson. You cannot spell Titans without putting that T-A in it. Another beautiful, beautiful day in sunny San Diego. And we're here to talk Titans content with you guys. My God, man. My God, has it been crazy, man. There's been so much. First of all, like, <laughs> I don't know, randomly, like, on Twitter, all you see, all you see is, is Vol fans and Titans fans fighting. Why are you guys fighting? For what? For what? For what? You're in the same state. Chill out. Chill out, man. It's crazy. Uh, anyway, um, the Tennessee Titans, guys, were being looked at as bottom of the barrel. You know, you got people making these lists and putting us at a bottom five team. You know, it, most people have us in, in uh, you know, if you look at all of the rankings, um, everyone's lists that they have, you know, Titans are on the bottom of almost all of them. You know, not the very bottom, but you get what I'm saying. And it's, it's just, um, to be honest, it's, it's kind of weird to me, like, um, where, where, where are we so bad that they rank us there? I'm very, like, oh, honestly, I'm confused. I'm fucking confused. Like, I don't, I don't understand. Like, do they really think Ryan Tannehill is that terrible? Do they think that our offensive line didn't improve at all? Like, it's just as bad as it was or worse? Do they think that Derrick Henry, you know, is the first person to, you know, colonate Mars do, uh, and he's not here no more? Um, do they think Traylon Burks just, I mean, they probably don't even know a damn thing about Traylon Burks. They don't know, but the mainstream media don't cover the Titans, so they have, probably have no idea what he's capable of. Uh, and then just because the Titans signed DeAndre Hopkins, it means he's automatically old and, 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 and burnt and toasted and, and got nothing left to offer. It's crazy. It's crazy. I told everybody, it's just going to take winning games to prove everybody wrong. That's just what it's going to take. Nobody, um, nobody's going to give us the time of day. You know what I mean? It, take, it takes literally Derrick Henry getting a 99-yard touchdown to finally get the Titans some type of publicity. You know what I mean? Like, it's crazy. It's crazy. But, you know, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. We know how good this football team is. We do. We know how good we can be and we will be. Why we're at the bottom of these lists, these rankings, is crazy. It's like, we have Jeffrey Simmons. Do they not know who that is? Kevin Byard, who's the best cover safety uh, since 2000. Um, to me, he's the best cover safety since the year after we drafted him. Because the first year we drafted Kevin Byard, yes, I rocked Kevin Byard all day, baby. Uh, the, the year we drafted him, we were using him out of position at strong safety and not using him correctly. You know, um, when... when um, when his time came, he was able to kind of fit, fit into that, that that true free safety spot. That's when you started seeing the ball hawk, the goat hawk, the interceptions, the ability to keep everything in front of him, nev to never, pretty much never allow anything over the top. Um, and, and again, if he was on the Cowboys or the 49ers or the Raiders or, or the Steelers or the, 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 the Giants or the Cowboys or the Eagles or, a, or just a big team like that, he would be one of those players that they're just talking about all the time. It's just because he's for the Titans. He, you know, he's not mentioned much. But he just continues to go out there every single year and do what he does best. And that's get interceptions and, and give our offense opportunities to win football games. It, it's just, it's weird. It's like, do they really feel like we have nobody? Harold Landry's coming back. He wasn't even there last year. We had Bud Dupree last year. He didn't do shit. He didn't do shit. We tried to hit it, him in for Arden Key. That's already an upgrade, bro. Tier Pop Tart. You know, got that little that little deal done. Ready to work for this year. Bro, he looks unguard he are unguardable, unblockable. You got you got I've I've already I've already mentioned Jeffrey Simmons. Like that guy, I mean, come on, bro. I mean He's gonna. He's by the time his time is done in Tennessee, he's gonna have a a defensive MVP. I I just think it's gonna happen. Um, you add Danico Autry in there, the you know the bull rush. You know Weaver looks great. Murphy, this this fucking unit looks scary, bro. This unit looks scary. They just don't understand. And then Amani Hooker's back. He wasn't playing last year. Really, Elijah Molden was hurt. He wasn't really playing last year. The NFL, the NFL, the, 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 those guys on, that, that are on the media that are he held on this, you know, on a pedestal, they don't 
name these things. They don't point these things out. They don't want to. They just want you to feel like, oh, it's just those guys in Tennessee. Eh, dope uniforms, but they suck. Get the fuck out of here. The fuck out of here. We were first place in the AFC not that long ago. You know what I'm saying? We were so close to going back to the Super Bowl. We were up 10 two different times against the Chiefs. Don't give me that. We've been one of the most competitive teams since we've drafted Derrick Henry. One of the most competitive teams in football since we drafted the King. Don't give me that. Disrespect us all you want, but the stats and facts do not lie. The Titans have been a competitive foe. We've been a problem. We've been very close to going back to the Super Bowl. Keep sleeping on us, because our team this year is very good. Very good. Derrick Henry, ready to go. Ty J Spears, get the fuck out of here. Ty J Spears, ready to go. Can't wait to see those guys going. At the same time, you got Julius Chestnut in your back pocket. Got to get Kyle Phillips healthy for sure. I'm excited, man. You know, we got to see how the play calling comes up too because obviously that's big. You know what I'm saying? If if the play calls ain't, you know, ain't what 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 they got to be, it could be a bad season. Um that being said, so far everything I've seen in practice, camp, joint practice, all that stuff, preseason, um I've seen a lot of good things. Um but one thing I've seen from Ryan Tannehill and, and our top two receivers in Traylon Burks and D-Hop is they're on the same page. There's going to be a lot more uh, balls thrown deep this year. There's going to be a lot more um, trick plays, I think. Uh, a lot more getting the ball out quicker. Um, we got to let this offensive line build some chemistry, fellas. We really do. And um, so far, I like what I've seen. Andre Dillier looks like he's holding up. We got to see how it works throughout the season. Uh, Peter Skaronski, I mean, we talk about him all the time. He's doing really well. Um, good thing we picked him up. Um, you know, we needed a center also with Ben Jones retiring. Aaron Brewer fills that spot, eats 20 uh, in and out cheeseburgers, and then gains those 20 pounds. He's good to go. Right guard, Daniel Brunsko, we're going to need you to keep doing your thing. I love that pickup. He went from wearing red to blue, so welcome, big dog. And then MPF, when he gets back, you know, he'll solidify that front five, and we'll get going. Until then, everybody step in, do their job, hang in there. When, when your your opponent, you know, look, when I say when your opponent, beat the guy in front of you. You know what I'm saying? Trust that your, you know, your teammates are going to win win their job, you know, win their battle. Go win your battle. Everything else will take care of itself. As long as we don't beat ourselves, we limit the turnovers, we score when we're supposed to score, and we got to force some turnovers on defense. I get it, three and outs and getting the ball back, punting is all great, but we need those forced those interceptions the, the <coughs> excuse me <coughs> oh damn these allergies um we need to force fumbles we need to get interceptions we need to do a lot of block punts field goals everything we need to be an aggressive unit because we've got the personnel to do it we really do so we'll see <coughs> oh man you're killing me right now <coughs> um the Titans are gonna 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 play the Saints week one. Um, I know I've mentioned before I'm expecting to win that game, no problems. Um, I want to see us go out there and play, you know, Tennessee Titans football. I want to see us taking shots down the field. I want to see the blocking take care of business and keep Ryan Tannehill up. Um, win the turnover battle. Play smart football. Play Mike Vrabel style football, and we should have no problems leaving there with a W. We should have no problems at all. So, again, it's going to be a long game. It's going to be a long season. One game at a time, Saints are up next. Um, I'm very happy that a lot of the injuries that were dealt to us in the uh, this offseason and uh, you know in preseason and stuff weren't major. Uh, Traylon Burke's going to be ready for week one. Um, and it seems like pretty much everyone will be uh, for the most part. I just can't wait to see it. Everyone's going to stack the box. Everybody's going to stack the box and say, look, beat us throwing. And Tannehill's going to tell them what? Okay. Traylon. d Jig, you too. Don't catch it this time. Make sure you catch it. Wiley, don't fuck around. Go! Send them deep! Send them deep! Because when you got that many people in the box rushing you, Send them deep. Don't be scared to have somebody sitting out in the flats also as a check down safe throw. But send your outside guys deep. 
Hell, sick chick deep down the middle. Right down the middle, bro. That shit always works. It's been a long off season. It's been a long fucking off season. And I know I know you guys are tired of it. I'm exhausted. I'm ready for this shit to start. Crazy ass draft. Crazy ass off season. And now we're left with a we went from are we going to be a trashy team this year? Are we really just going to leave Derrick Henry out there and not help him much? To a team that looks like... We'll see. I like it, though. I like the rebuilt offensive line. I like uh, I like the thought of trying to keep Tannehill alive and up for this season. Um, he can make every throw that's needed. Uh, D-Hop and Traylon Burks on the outside, even if a throw's not really catchable... With them, it pretty much is. Um, so let's just go out there, do our job, and hopefully we can get off to an early start. Um, limit the turnovers if possible, and um, go score some points. Let's change. Let, let's change the narrative in Tennessee. Let's just tell everybody, look, we could we could score points too. You know what I'm saying? Let's go show everybody we could score points too. So it's gonna be a long season, a long season. You won't see these jerseys at all this season, fellas. The baby blue jerseys have been swapped out for the uh, for the Oilers jerseys. Um, you're allowed to wear them for three games, but we're wearing them for two. One against the Falcons and then one against the, the Texans. So make sure you guys tune in for those. My Oilers jerseys still are not here. My other Titans Anderson jersey is not here either. So uh, when they get here, we'll definitely show you guys. Um, if you guys are watching still, again, man, make sure you guys hit that like button. We're getting a lot of viewers, and the likes, man, are just kind of, like, floating around. Let's get... If you're watching, hit the like. Hit a dislike if you don't like it. But do something. Put some activity. Leave a comment, man. I'm expecting a big-ass season for Derrick Henry, fellas. A big-ass season for Derrick Henry. I want to know what you guys think in the chat section below. What are you guys expecting the King to do? How many yards do you think the King's going to get in touchdowns? I've said before, 22 touchdowns. 1850 to 1950 yards i think it's gonna be a solid ass season um again 300 plus carries is coming again just because ty j is here guys doesn't mean we're gonna be running him in place of henry um i could see us doing that uh taking henry out if we're in it if we have big leads um other than that um i still think it's gonna be a henry offense play action launching deep balls uh one-on-one -on -one situations you got to give your receivers chances stuff like that uh, I also want to see, like I said before, I want to see Ty J Spears out there at the same time with Derrick Henry. Having them all out there at the same time will definitely help uh, take some pressure off of everybody. Tannehill, uh, Derrick Henry, uh, all the focus will be on, I mean, who? Think about it. You got, you got, uh, you know, Derrick Henry, obviously, most of the eyes will still be on him regardless. And then you got, you, you know, your receivers, D-Hop and T-Burks on the outside. They're going to cause some issues out there. You want to stack the box, but the ball's going to be launched deep, one-on-one -on -one situation. Titans are going to take that every day of the week. So we'll see what happens, man. I'm excited. I know you guys are excited too, man. It's a, it's a beautiful thing, man. It's a beautiful thing being a Titans fan. And, um, you know, this year is crazy because we got the um, the new Oilers jerseys coming in. Um, I ordered mine with the captain's patches too, so they better all fucking have them. Um, all stitched, everything ready to go crazy man crazy let me know what you guys think in the comment section what do you guys think about this team what do you guys think about the media ranking us so fucking low um are we really not that good of a team am i overrating us am i am i am i thinking too much am i, am I being biased like you guys let me know i just think when you look at it on paper you got the running back check you got the best running back in football check you got an offensive line that looks i mean you can't get worse check you got two outside receivers that are built to to uh, counteract the stacking the box. Check. You got a six foot seven tight end and a and a playmaking athletic uh, bowling ball style tight end and chick. Check. That should be enough. You know what I'm saying? An amazing back of we weapon running back in Ty J Spears. Check. Should be a top ten defense. No problems. Check. Punter. Top five. Easy. I don't care. Check. Best coach in the league, in my opinion. Check. 
ran cards on running the running running shit upstairs with Amy and, and them three working together. Check. I think we've got it, fellas. Our biggest opponent is health. Let's go change. Let's go change everything. Let's go shock the world. Tighten up code blue Cyclops swag. You can't smell Titans without putting that T A in it. I love y'all. Let's go. Wow.